Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to study now from the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 1. And we'll start from verse 1. Reading from the King James Version. I will tie it onto something. I read, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bit Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He has begotten us into an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. This is where I'm going to now. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So, keynote here, we are to be greatly rejoicing, even though now for a season, if need be, we are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So we might be going through challenges now, but we are to greatly rejoice. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith, so it's, it, it, basically what that's, that temptation, that challenge is there to try your faith. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. That word trial as is the testing, the testing. When they want to test gold, it is tested with heat, with fiery heat, fire, to see the purity. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. In this instance, I'm saying that the trial of your faith, of your by challenges, the, the challenge of your faith, the testing of your faith might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of or the manifestation of the promise of God. So there's a time of trying that which you believed God for, that the promise he's giving you, just like the promise of the appearing of Jesus Christ, there's going to be a challenge of your faith. Now, you are to greatly rejoice whilst going through this trial. Now, he says that, add that, add that though it be, you be, it, that your faith be tried by fire or with fire, that that faith might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the time of manifestation. So, you shouldn't be amongst those who slink back. That during that trial, you've, you, that, it turns out that, that your faith is like... Um, uh, pyrite gold, fool's gold, that when it's tested, it is found that it's not gold. But instead, it is found to be beautiful in God. Now, see verse 8. Whom having not seen. So, he's talking about Jesus. You've not seen him. You are believing for him. In the same way, you've not seen the promise. You're believing for the promise. Whom having not seen. So, we're now juxtaposing it or flipping it. That you've not seen this promise. Ye love, in whom though now you see him not, or you see not, you've not seen the promise, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. This is like what this is the expectation, what's expected of you. You've not seen the manifestation of the promise, but you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Then verse 9, receiving the end of your faith. So you will ultimately receive the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, even the manifestation of that promise, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and said diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Now, let's stick a pin there and discuss a little bit. In essence, he used the salvation picture of the re return of our Lord Jesus Christ to paint what actually happens in the spirit realm pari pasu faith. That if you have a word from God, a promise, that that and you, you choose to stand on it, that that which you choose to stand on, which you say you believe, it, that belief will be tested. And is giving you what to do during that testing period. 
that you should rejoice with joy unspeakable, knowing fully well that you will see the manifestation. Say, in so doing, at the end of it, when your faith is tested, at the end, you should come out having received the promise, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. He says, though you've not seen it, you should love. You should love the promise, knowing that the Father has given his word. In whom now you see not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So no matter what you, you're seeing during that trying period, that period of the test, know that it's a test and that your aim is to pass mm -hmm. that test. Praise God. So that at the end, say that you should, you should believe, you should rejoice with joy unspeakable and be full of glory, glorifying God. That he who promised is faithful and him, it will come to pass. And definitely you will see it. Think about this. God bless you. Hallelujah.